Wait, hang on. I suck. Everything broke. Nothing wanted to hear you. Oh, no. There. There. <laughs> now they can hear you. There we go. Good now you morning. can go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Sunday morning stream of Wonder Home. Uh, my name is Kat. I am your storyteller every Sunday morning, except for next Sunday. We will not be here next Sunday. But I'm here to guide my friends through a wonderful little journey to find their home. Uh, we're gonna have them introduce themselves and what they're doing and what they like to do, and we're gonna go do mocats go first. Oh gosh, okay. Are we doing the like who are playing here and stuff like we usually do? That's, that's what we're usually doing. <laughs> okay, so outside of here, I am the Thursday night PM on Indigo Chameleon at 8 p.m. with the Wild Beyond the Witchlight. And now, starting next Friday, I have my new project. Um, where I get to do a 12 episode limited series of Candlekeep Mysteries that I've made into a short campaign. Um, so I'm very excited for that. That's on Girls Run Me Games on Fridays um, at 7 p.m. EST. So you can find me twice now. And then here, here I get to play my baby who is Sadness from Inside Out um, in otter form. If Sadness is an otter, not named Sawyer. And Sawyer has rocks. And that's, that's my spiel. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning! I love Slayer with all my heart. Um, alright. Pixie, who are you? What do you do? I would just die for Sawyer. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Pixie. I am one half of the uh, polyamorous nerd couple who runs Rep RPG. You can also find me as at Chaos Pixie Magic on all platforms. I am a, uh, currently pushing our, um, dice that we make. Um, because... Cody and I need to make rent. Um, so, uh, they're pretty, they're shiny. We're about to start taking- They're funky. We're, yeah, we, we already take custom orders for colors. We're about to start taking custom orders for inclusions as well. Um, so we're very excited about that. Um, and uh, in addition, um, now that we've perfected the chunk making process, uh, the big new <laughs> thing we're excited about is we are introducing officially our legacy chunk series which is um, if you have a character you've retired and you want to save their dice as a kind of trophy, um, you can send us their dice and we will permanently ensconce them in a clear version of this. So you can see your dice uh, from that character as a trophy on your forever, like, ah, this is this character. Like, that. Like, like, it's so fucking cool, right? Oh, cool. Um, I really like that. I, that was Cody's original idea for the chunk, for the Franken chunk. And that was his like proof of concept for it. And then everyone else just loved the idea of the, just, is that a dice made of other dice? Yes, it is. Okay, well, here's a special version of that. You can make it personalized and have a good time. Or if you don't feel like sending us your dice, you can tell us about your character and we will ensconce a set of dice in that trophy that is that character. Um, the ink, the, the colors, the everything. Um, so we're going to be listing those as uh, custom uh, orders this week and uh, opening up orders for those. So we're really excited about it. That's I, what I, I have. I have a I have a stained glass pastel. God, I'm so excited. On its way to me. Oh, it's so pretty. I also have a, like a, a pink and blue cotton candy one. Um, it's got a pretty bag too. I have it's a pretty pink bag. <laughs> I what I need in my life is more pretty bags. Yes, it's velvet. It's pretty. They're wonderful. I'm so excited. All right, Curtis, <laughs> who are you? What do you do? Hi. <laughs> I got lost for a minute. I was gonna make a joke. Hi, my name is Curtis. <laughs> I play Civil Snaps in Wonder Home. Uh, Civil is a fun guy, <laughs> fun turtle, <laughs> a, 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 a war hard turtle, but he's got a good heart. Um, I also play on another stream called Proficiency Bonus, in which we're going to have our five year celebration uh, July 24th to the 30th this month. And uh, we're benefiting Extra Life like we do every year. And uh, our goal this year is $1,000, which last year I'm pretty sure we made up to $1,500, $2,000, which was really good. So, you know what? Come along with us. We'll give a, uh, we're will we doing giveaways and fun things um, that uh, that week, not to just benefit you, but to benefit kids as well. And me, and, uh, me personally, uh, I do art. I do artwork. <laughs> so I have an Instagram at Curtis.Wes at Instagram. Um, and yeah, I do immersive shows too. I am also a uh, co-creator of a immersive theater company with the lovely cat here called Marquee Artery Collections. 
and uh, working on a little uh, story. And the name of that story is called The Whistles, uh, The Whistling Sunrise. So uh, I'm really excited about that. Maybe you'll hear about that soon. Who knows? Oh, awesome. Pretty excited about it. <laughs> uh, Pixie, you didn't tell us who you play. Oh, I am a small, nameless fox who is a caretaker of old and forgotten gods. Lost and forgotten gods. Lost. Old well, gods are a very different thing. Old gods are very different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, different. Ryan, Ryan, who are you? What do you do? Hi, my name is Ryan. Uh, I play Jericho, the postman on this stream. I play uh, Gunther, the Sinai frog on Thursday nights over in the New York Main. Um, and I run my own D&D game over on po Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, of Justin through Jacinto, uh, where I lead a ragtag uh, group of people through trials, tribulations, and trauma. Um, so uh, come find us there, and uh, yeah. Love it, love it, love it. And Xander, who are you? What do you do? Hello, friends. I am Xander. I play Mama, a sheepdog shepherd who takes care of her little bumblebees. Um, he him pronouns for me, she her pronouns for my character. Um, you can find me on anything worth finding me on at Magic for Mayhem, uh, TikTok, uh, which I don't really post on, but you know, uh, Instagram, which I also don't really post on, and Twitter, which uh, once in a while, um, you know, it's fine. Um, I, Later, I, I this a, is a rare Pokemon card elusive. <laughs> yeah, once in a while, once in a while, I'll show up in your feed and you'll go, oh my gosh, and that'll be it for the and next like, three months. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, wow, my brain is gone. It disappeared. Everything that I've ever thought is no longer in my head anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, this is the only show I'm on as of right now. I, I be here. Um, I am opening up commissions pretty soon for, um, personalized D&D characters based on your, uh, birth chart, um, as well. So that'll be and something need, I'm, something I'm posting I about pretty soon. someone to run a one-shot that is just those characters. And what Xander makes for you. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> That's all I'm I want. To, I'm tempted to run the one-shot also, but we haven't gotten uh, it yet. Uh, so good for me. <laughs> Um, uh, and again, I'm Kat. I do a lot of things. We're gonna jump to this now. Perfect. Uh, last time we left our friends, uh, we went, we, we went to the circus. We met a mermaid and her wife. We met, uh, we met Glimmer, our nameless fox's older sister. We met uh, some kids ride some bumblebees. Uh, Sawyer finally got to pet Dulcet, and Dulcet was kind of okay with it <laughs> and we stole from King John and that is what we did last episode <laughs> and that's what you missed on Glee that's what you missed on Glee <laughs> we, we asked a question it was not answered we asked if all mermaids were lesbians it was not responded if that was true or not little fox is still waiting for that answer <laughs> it was it was said that she's very all invested that they had met have all the ones that they met exactly met <laughs> okay. we'll have to meet more mermaids and figure out next episode we're going to atlantis guys pack it up let's go <laughs> I can breathe underwater, I think. <laughs> I think other people are gonna have a I good think you problem. can. Can I get a hand breathe underwater? I don't know, but I could be under there. They can hold while. their breath a really long time. Oh, I I think I hibernate under in the in the winter, right? I can hibernate <laughs> under under the ice, right? <laughs> and what's ever uh, well, it gets really cold outside, so we'll just really tired all the time. Yeah. And I, I will, will hold your character to that. I will say that in order to hibernate, you still need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> Says, no, you. Says, says you. <laughs> says you. <laughs> um, so we last week we left with with uh, Glimmer, who have told told you guys that the circus has a night show that she is going to happily take you all to unless there's something different you guys wanted to do. This is an adult night show, right? This is where the yes. adults end up. <laughs> this yes. is the adults. There are no there won't be any children at the show because it it, it, it gets spooky real quick. I'm, I'm good for an adult show. 
All good, all good. Oh, yes, but what about civil snaps? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it, absolutely. <laughs> yes, it's always yes. <laughs> um, so Glimmer takes you to one of the bigger tents in the in the carnival. Um, she is holding her sister's hand the entire time. It's like, do not leave. Do not still keep following me because she misses her little sister very much and is still used to her being a baby and not an adult. Um, so it's taking her by the hand and leading us to the bigger tent. The bigger tent uh, is, is this giant red and white striped tent. You guys walk in with no problem because you are with Glimmer and Glimmer has a little bit of a reputation in this city. Um, you guys are led to some seats that are pretty much front row and sat down and Glimmer sits down next to you guys and you guys have a moment to talk amongst yourselves before the show begins. I've never been to a show, so I'm very excited. Oh my god. He just trumped <laughs> any question I would have to ask her because this is now more important. Uh. <laughs> I didn't mean to derail the way of social anxiety, sorry. Oh Wait, no, she, she was opening her mouth to ask, like, how many circuses have you been with? Have you been traveling with a lot of them? Have you? She's opened her mouth to ask one of these things, and instead just... Never! He's no. never been to any kind of show. The moths don't put on shadow puppet shows. What? No, we, we have to work. All the time. That's yeah. not healthy. Are you unionized? You maybe should like, be. Yeah, no, no, we've, we've got you again. Like, okay, this, your union needs better We've breaks. got procedures, Jesus. <gasps> okay, well, your procedures need some work. If you've never had... We've got <gasps> days off, but you know, I like to sleep, like... Me running down mock union questions. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> well, what are your holidays off? I need to know Every your PTO requirements. Holidays, you know? It's one of those things, you know. We just, uh, we just, we just work, and then, and then we get a couple of days off. Usually, I sleep and, and read, and then I go back to work. It's how life works. Man. Oh, that sounds like my day. Yeah. I, I just it's not like... far from Ryan's actual day. No, I know. I need more escapism in my escapism, please. <laughs> oh, and I go outside and play with my moth. Like, yeah, there's your escapism. That's not the same. Is, it, is that what they call it now? Yeah, you know. <laughs> wow. Uh, my moth has a crown on it. I just want everyone to know. Uh, an inflatable crown. Name Jerry. Jerry has an inflatable okay. crown on. If anything happens to Jerry's crown, uh, I quit this campaign. <laughs> Throw that out there. Do you like okay. strap it on? It's got string. Oh, uh, <laughs> so we're so we're like jughead in like it's like a jughead thing. Yeah, it's a jughead crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm gonna yeah. look over at Sawyer and be like, Sawyer, you ever been to the show? I'm gonna turn around. And like try to look over, seeing what Sawyer is doing. Being uh, like, Sawyer, are you excited for the show? <laughs> Sawyer's just kind of sitting with two rocks in their hand, just kind of click, click, clicking them together nervously. Yeah, that's, that's what um, I expected. <laughs> has, also, Dulcet has not left Sawyer's shoulders. Dulcet's so, still there. <laughs> yeah, so I think Sawyer's trying to combat um, their social anxiety with something in their hands and something on their shoulder. Um, actively purring, as I'm pretty sure Dulcet is still doing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Sawyer's just, like, looking over at Civil out of the corner of their eye, and like, Oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, unfortunately, going to events such as these requires I go outside. And unfortunately, uh, that has not really been an option, because I am a, um, social, social event kind of a person. I have never gone to anything by myself ever, and I wasn't about to start, no. So, I'm glad that I'm here with all of you. Uh, Dulcet especially, and Sawyer, like, <laughs> puts their hand up and, like, with the back of their paw, like, Dulcet, lightly. like, Dulcet, like, dazzles your hand a bit and goes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. Well, you, uh, well, you got two things here. You're outside for one. And, uh, hey, uh, you're not alone, so it's good to have you here, Sawyer. Both, both, both is so good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sawyer's just, like, swinging her feet. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna walk over to Mama now. Hey, Mama. How you, how you doing? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the weirdest. I can't yep. believe Civil is the hey mama lesbian. <laughs> yeah, like, I can't, I can't believe. I can. Hey, mama. Civil just turned into Joey for a minute. Jesus. Yeah, hey, hey mama. How you doing? How you doing? No. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just going to like. Uh, Sybil is going to like, kind of like do a small like head to mama's shoulder, and being like, "When's the last time you think you saw a show?" Because I can't really remember. Like, even the last time a, a, a carnival even came around. I uh, I've been in the woods for so long. I, I, I've heard it's kind it. of. It had to have been ages. <laughs> I can't have. It can't have been. It can't have been any time recent for me. No. I don't really remember. I don't know. Is there God. yeah? Is there any uh, gracious storytelling? Is there anything that we would have known? Like, uh, like is this a carnival that's been around for a long time that would have maybe been back in when we were at war with the slobbering god? Or um, you know, they went away for a while. That it was a lot of people left to go fight in the war. There wasn't really a lot of people to run carnivals and such. Okay. Um, this would be like the first one you've seen since the war isn't over. Okay. So, all right. So this is very like kind this of like an, an occasion, like a yeah. great, like almost like a gracious occasion. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, civil is the same. Like same. It's it's been for so long. I don't even. I really don't even know what to expect. I mean, I'm glad I'm here, but yeah. I'm a little I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. We have so much stuff to do. And just a carnival showing up, especially after the news we got? I don't know. I think, I think that at the very least, it'll, I don't know, help keep everything at peace for a while, well, while we figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? Things start cropping up back like, at, like how they were before. It's easier to, it's easier to, to not think about the hard things for a little bit yeah Sybil's uh Sybil's going to like kind of look down the ground for a moment and then put a hand on uh put a hand on mama's shoulder and like kind of do a small hug and being like <clears throat> can't let anything happen happen to the rest of them right absolutely not glad we agree can't let anything happen too important too important they got, they got such, they got such good stories to tell. And it'd be a shame to, it'd be a shame for anything to happen to that. Especially if now that everything was for nothing. <sighs> I can't think like that. I can't, I can't wallow like that right now. We um, got this cool show to watch. I'm really excited. I don't want to think about that. Not, not at this moment. That's fair. Whenever we, whenever we're moving on, whenever we're moving on, and we're heading up, and 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 uh, we're 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 on to the next thing, you know. Then we can then we can think about it a little bit more, and and and. But tonight, I just want to. I don't know. I just want to let loose. Have a little fun. So, Why not? It's an adults-only carnival. When's the last time you've done something like that? <laughs> Mama wants to go do shots, is what I'm hearing. It's like the adults shot, are out. Shot, shot, Let's shot. Shoot. <laughs> the kids are asleep. Go. We're going Ooh, to party. <laughs> so, civil so lets go of like the held, like kind of in like the held kind of anxiety in his chest for a moment, and lets out like a chuckled sigh at Mama's words, and being like, "You're right." Are, are you're you guys right. being quiet, or are you guys like? I, I feel like I'm just like talking, like okay. not like not like out loud, but not trying to be like. Um, Glimmer like. pulls out a flask from her pouch and just like hands it over to Mama. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? <laughs> There's other people. Glimmer, with darling, too. you get it. <laughs> you get it, darling. You know what's going on. Let's go. It's been a while. Um, it's been a while, but I'm 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 down I'm down for a drink. It's been a minute, but been a minute. you know. What is Glimmer's drink of choice? That is a good yeah. it, Glimmer's drink of choice would be something <laughs> glitter water. Glitter water. <laughs> um, glitter I, I don't know how to water. say fireball but better. 
<laughs> fireball it's, but it's better. A, it's fire, fire, it's, fire whiskey. It's, fireball but fire not whiskey. fireball. It's, it's a that? cinnamony, it's a burn, but it's a sweet uh, burn. It's it's called hot water. Hot water. <laughs> <laughs> is this what it is? It's no, water. it's not. I hate that. No, I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> It's I'm gonna just call a, it fire it's, whiskey. It's just a flask of scalding water. <laughs> yeah, right? With with a hint of cinnamon. With, with a red cinnamon food stick coloring inside in it. of it. <laughs> so I can go normal Wonder Home and be like, well, it's just green tea, but no, it's alcohol. Like a drunk. <laughs> I, I just like the idea of scalding water with red food coloring and a, and a cinnamon stick inside of it. Like, yeah, we drink this all the time. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're known so for. <laughs> I would be so angry. <laughs> So you're at a circus, yes. Like, what kind of clown car the BS is this? Um, well, Glimmer would offer that to a drink to all of you. You could all take a sip if you want. I'll take a hard sip for sure. Oh, yeah, it's been, it's I, been some time since having a drink, so. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm so glad that we've eliminated the possibility of any trauma happening this episode by proving that the fox that brought us to this show not only is Ex, you know, externally giving us warmth in their presence, but trying to let us ingest like a warmth as well. <laughs> so clearly, yeah. nothing bad is clearly going nothing bad is no going to happen. No, all nothing safe. bad, Sawyer. Nothing so ever wholesome. bad happened to a group yeah. of animals. And I just want to tell Cat, <laughs> thank you in advance. Put that Jericho pen down, Mayor. bitch. Put the pen down. No, no. Thank you so much. For <laughs> Put it down. Favorite. For your kindness and your love. Like, Jericho you know, has you're, never you're drank any alcohol. One, so. two, three of you will really enjoy the show. <laughs> two <laughs> of you may have PTSD, but it's fine. I'm Jer excited. Jericho has never is drank it, any alcohol. So. Is it the war yeah. veteran? Is it because the war maybe. veteran? Maybe. <laughs> well, we're about to find out we'll how find Jericho. Out. We're about to find out how Jericho does with the keg stand. <laughs> <laughs> You know oh god i mean i've never had like it's it's never been appealing to me so i've never tried it so i, I got you buddy those clowns you, can really get you, turned up Glimmer's <laughs> like do you want to try you don't have to if you don't want to i feel like i feel like if i don't i'm really like i feel like the odd man out so i'll i'll try it no just, man just, that... have, just have a sip just a sip if you don't like it you don't drink it it's fine if, if you're on the job then you're on the uh job. but it's uh, it's one of those that it's like it's the sip, but it's like the first time you've had like it's like the first time. So like you take that sip, but it accidentally turns into like a swig. Oh, <laughs> no. Like the like it like hits you. It's that like first time you've tried a specific alcohol, and you're like I'm just gonna try this, and it just hits your lips, and you're like oh god, and it, everything's awful. And it's, so look, like, oh, oh, everything's oh. awful. Look like what a reflex. Look like somebody got his cherry popped. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Little Bioshock reference for you. Little, 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 Bioshock, little Bioshock reference for all of you crowd. <laughs> for all the Bioshocks, Dan. It, it was perfect. It was perfect. You nerds, Jesus. Us? Us, no. no. Never. <laughs> Any other little talk that anyone wants to have with anyone? I talked enough. Mm -hmm. okay, I enjoy your talking, so you're good. You're good. No. Get right. everybody's feelings, we're good. <laughs> Um, music starts. <laughs> Ryan just started the da, 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 da. background. It's not it. Um, the music starts out slow and soft and slowly begins to build as a green and blue light start to flicker on the stage. Um, what looks like water being flown through, what looks like a sky. And what you can take from what's happening right now is the world you stand on being created. The world at its very beginning. When it was just the, the sky, the ground, the bees, the beetles, the, the bugs that control that all around this world. Um, and there is a figure. There is one figure on the stage dressed in black. Blacks and reds as he sits on upon, upon the grass and with little flicks of his hand, things begin to be created. 
um, are nameless Vox. You feel all of your, all of your little gods have come out to watch the show. All of them. Oh, shoot. And you feel a warm breath behind you as you realize your biggest one is also watching. She leans over gently to Glimmer. Did they sell out chocolate at the festival? I mean, probably. Okay, then I'm gonna need to get some. Okay, you can get some after the show. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> um, the w the music begins to pick up more and more as more things are created, as more things are brought into being by this black and red figure on the stage. But nothing that is created looks like him. Nothing that is created matches this figure on the stage. And it is him and the world around him and everything that is not like him. How are each of you feeling in this moment? Fuse. Mama in particular is um, just entranced at the black figure in particular, just kind of staring. Okay. You know how on her eyes are really like big and round and black? I would like to say all you see of Sawyer is just all of the lights within this like carnival are like bright in Sawyer's eyes as they are looking forward in wonder. Okay. Uh, she Civil... said the name of the thing. She said the name. Oh, no. <laughs> Civil is going to feel, um, not anxious, like, what's the word? Like, anticip like, like, anticipation, just kind of, like, focusedness, like, yeah, like, just kind of, like, he's looking intently, but just kind of, like, watching and just kind of being, like, maybe on alert a little bit. So, just, like, more self, like, more aware of just, like, things that are going on. Just anxiousness, I guess. Okay. Uh, Fox. Fascinated. Genuinely. Okay. Perfect. Um, the show continues. Um, the man stands and starts to walk, and the stage moves as he walks. So he is staying one place, but it is looking as if he is walking and walking and walking. And as he is looking in one direction, another figure shows up on the other side of the stage. And it is, a f she looks very much like him, but is dressed in whites and golds, in contrast to his blacks and reds. Um, as this figure appears, um, a wick grows a little warmer and a little brighter. Um, it continues, and as the stage turns and the man walks faster, he stops as he sees this figure. This fig the white figure sits, and she also starts pulling things from the ground, also starts to create. But where the man, this man's creations were in blacks and reds and shadows and insects, this one is light. And life as the first animals are given breath onto this world as they create and he walks and he sits next to her and they start to create together life given shadow death given rebirth it is a perfect opposite of each other <clears throat> as their hands meet And as their hands meet, there is an explosion of color, of rainbow, of just life. How are we all feeling now? Genuinely mesmerized. Um, as as Little Fox is doing everything she can not to just start drawing everything. She has to remember it. She feels like she feels like it would be impolite to pull out her notes and everything right now. She wants to so badly. 
Instead, she just makes sure all of her tiny gods can see the stage. She's making sure to wick on head. She's just making sure that they can see because they see, seem mm. fascinated. Uh, you can have something extra if you'd like to spend a token. Yes. All right. Um, wick grows brighter and so and warmer on your shoulder as she watches these figures. And Dulcet notices it and looks at you and goes, they're playing our mom. How do the so, other gods react? Um, Nadir is looking is, is very is always silent, mm -hmm. but he is a little more ruffled up than usual. Um, Wick is the growing bright and warm. Um, your little your little little undead monkey friend yeah. um, has crawled on top of your head <laughs> to get a closer look at the show, Good. but there's no really visible reaction from him, and Dulce just seems calm. The only one having the biggest reaction to things right now is Nadir and Wick. And then you're on your other one. You can't really see him, but you can still feel his presence behind you. I would like to try to gently pet Nadir like you do with a crow on the back of the... Mm -hmm. And just to, to let him know I'm here because he seems... Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure why. Mm -hmm. He, his feathers, relax. <clears throat> As he is realizing this is a show that's is not actually happening in front of me. Uh, Sawyer, how are you feeling? Is Dulcet still on my shoulder or has Dulcet- Dulcet moved? is still on your shoulders. Okay, so hearing like Dulcet, do I, did I hear Dulcet? Yeah. Talk to you? Okay. Uh, Sawyer is like broken out of their trance for a minute and is very confused as like mm -hmm. to what is happening. So Sawyer is probably like putting their rocks away so they don't and like clasping their paws firmly together so they don't like distract anybody during the show mm -hmm. um but Sawyer's gonna like instead of watching the show now like look at the gods okay the small gods yeah okay so you're keeping a closer eye on them mm -hmm. um would you like to spend a token for something extra Okay, I never get to spend tokens. I'll use one. <laughs> uh, you spend your token, and you're looking at these gods, and you're looking at the little fox, and for a split second, you swear you see a glimmer of something much bigger standing behind your fox friend. Okay. Cute. <laughs> uh, Jericho? Um... It's interesting uh, for him, because uh, obviously it's a show. Obviously he's enjoying the show. Uh, but he's uh, he's a little sad at the moment. Um, everyone seems to have some sort of comfort at the moment, and with the with the the dream and everything else along those lines, and then uh, this happening, he's he's feeling just a little bit alone in the world at the moment. Okay. I want you to take a token. Cool, I'll take my token. Uh, Mama? Um, <clears throat> Mama, for for the first couple of minutes, she she knew what was happening. Um, but uh, seeing it and and presenting it this way again, like for the first time out, like creatively, like this. Um, you know, because she's obviously familiar with the with the stories and stuff like that. It's very, it's like, it's like, um, finally seeing something that you've known to be true your entire life. It's like kind of, um, oh, I don't know. It's like that, meeting Santa the for the first time. <laughs> like when you're a child, you're like, <laughs> I knew he was real. Like it's like that that kind of like. That kind of like I've I've known this to be true my entire life and now I get to see it in front of me and that's so cool and she's just kind of sitting there sitting there grinning she's, you can see her kind of like leaned up a little bit like like really excited to see um like people's interpretations of these myths that she's known and grown up with and and told many times over to her to her kids and 
um, and her bees and anyone who, who wants, who needs a little bedtime story. She's told these stories over and over again her whole life. So now to see someone else kind of portraying it is really cool to her. So she's just kind of like <laughs> very, very excited. Love that. Uh, Sybil. Uh, <clears throat> Sybil is going to uh, uh, look at it and um, once seeing like the color bit, uh, he's going to feel uh, content for a split moment, but then it's like a wash of being like, this is, it's feeling like this is starting all over again. And it's a bit of, again, of like asking, it's, it's more of like asking himself, like, does he really want to do this all? Like, does he really want to do this all over again? Like, is this really all happening like before? And are we going to have to like, like this is all nice in a story, but this is uh, this is really remembering him of being like, just making him like a little, like a little scared, like now like a little bit more scared, but like still, <laughs> but yeah. still there. Uh, go ahead and also take a token. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, the next scene begins to play, and it is. The continuation of creation it is these two figures standing as they stand and they walk again as the stage begins to move as they walk things pop up things are created beings come from these two um beings that mostly our little fox would recognize as small and forgotten gods so this is a time where they weren't forgotten this is a time where gods were given everything the offspring of these two were given purposes and paths and people revered these small gods because that's what they were. They were gods. They weren't cast aside. They weren't forgotten. They were important and they were needed in this be beginning of this world. And you watch as slowly this music begins to fade softer as the world around them starts to grow and the world around them starts to not need them anymore. It no longer needs a protector. It no longer needs the parents. It no longer needs the small and known gods because they are beginning the path of their own. As the brightness starts to dim as as you watch really on the figure dressed in blacks and reds with a crown on his head the things around him start to get darker and darker and the woman in light with a equally bright crown on her head desperately trying to keep light feed it into this darker persona trying to bring back the lightness that he did have But eventually it's too much. Eventually the darkness just overcrowds her as she gets smaller and smaller and weaker and weaker as darkness and anger start to completely overturn and take over the stage. Vibe check. <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> um it's uh it's a uh, a form uh civil is just like closing his eyes and like like calm like just like breathing like in out slowly just just calm the word calm over and over again in his head okay almost um, unconsciously mama. little fox is holding or, or or gathering her little gods closer. And she kind of even scoots back a little closer to her unseen massive god. Um, mm -hmm. And she got her little legs crossed up in her seat. And she's mm -hmm. just kind of holding like Nadir in her lap and, and mm -hmm. all of these. Uh... And she doesn't 
know how to say how heartbroken she is for them to have lost their purpose. And all she wants to do is hug them all. She can't, and she's letting them watch the show, but she's just kind of, any that let her be closer to them, she just does. Um, you feel one large clawed arm wrap around your midsection to hold you a bit tighter. <laughs> you don't see it, but you feel oh, it. Oh, that's fine. Um... <laughs> he likes me. He really likes me. <laughs> oh, Um, and she does, she just, and, and, uh, just one little pop, like, <coughs> one, one arm around a deer in her lap or on her arm, wherever, and then mm -hmm. around the, the claw, the unseen claw, she just kind of holds mm -hmm. it tighter and just mm -hmm. sits there and watches. Um, Sawyer, you're not watching the show, you're watching the gods. Sawyer is, like, disassociating from the show pretty hard right now, not because, like, they don't want to feel it, but because they feel like they don't, like, deserve to feel the sadness, knowing what the gods have clearly gone through. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a situation, and it's just, like, focusing on Dulcet, whatever Dulcet's doing. Uh, Dulcet at what is happening. You're focusing on her. Mm -hmm. And you see a tear you see a moment Dulcet has never been any type of negative emotion you've ever seen in your life but right now she's sad um can Sawyer like tap mama on the shoulder and go oh okay but do, do you happen to have a, a handkerchief or, or a tissue, perhaps? Just, like, whispering in, like, a, a teeny tiny voice as to not bother anybody else's experience. Absolutely. So, like, I open up the pocket. don't have pockets? She... <laughs> Mama is a woman of many pockets. And every time anyone asks her for stuff, the ritual is look in a pocket. Nope, that's on it. Look in a pocket. Nope, that's on it. Look in a pocket. Oh, Kind of rummage around, take something out. Nope. Look at another pocket. There we go. Just hands it over. <laughs> Just uh, kind of like rummaging. We have amazing. one. Yes, here we go. So the the passing of the hanky goes from Mama to Sawyer to Dulcet. Um. <laughs> uh, Dulcet will take the handkerchief between her two little paws and just <laughs> drop her eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just. Good theater gets me every time. <laughs> uh, oh, she's lying, but... <laughs> yep. yep. We can let uh, her have that one. Yeah. She's allowed. She'll never say it. She'll never say it. Mm. Uh, Mama, civil. <sighs> Mama, uh... Whenever, whenever the handkerchief is is given over, is gonna look over it so we'll and see his eyes are closed and just kind of put a hand on his leg and just kind of like I'm here, I got gotcha. you, we're good, we're 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 in this together. We're not, you know, you're Sybil, not alone. Sybil opens his eyes and just like kind of puts his head on Mama's shoulder, being like and just like a small like thank you. Just, just trying not to interrupt like anything going on, while like civil like looks at everything going on and just like has a sense of calm, but just like seeing things going on and just like having the moment. It's just, it's just calm right now. Okay. Um. The next part of the show is a hard one for anyone to watch. The next part of the show is the infection that started the war. It is the slobbering god turning completely against everything he had ever stood for before and beginning to infect those around him. Those who become infected became feral, became nothing more than wanting to eat, rip apart anything they saw. And two of you remember this infection very well. 
two of you was, were face to face with this infection almost daily for a good couple of years of your life. And it just spread and spread as a dark cloak suddenly falls over one person onto another, onto another, and just really showing how quickly this spread, how fast it overturned. Every time the, slob this, the black slobbering god figure would turn away, this the light figure would grab onto him and beg and scream as he is destroying everything they created together. And every time he'd push her away, every time he would look the other way, and she just keeps going to him, keep, keeps begging, keeps... She's too weak, she fed him for too long, she can't stop it. She turns, and from her cloak she pulls a sword. A sword of pure gold and jewels, something that she created and hands it to a mouse. All of you know of the king of your land, who was the mouse that slayed the slobbering god. It was the most unassuming person who could have gotten this. And he did. And you watch a reenactment of the slobbering god falling as your king <laughs> slays him. And in, as this, this an amazing battle scene takes place in front of you, at the very edge of the stage is that white figure watching, crying. As the slobbering god gets hit and falls to his knees, Nadir screeches and then flies off, disappearing. immediately she she hands she takes the little monkey and hands it to her sister she makes sure dulcet is on the shoulder of sawyer still she keeps okay. wick and she fucking takes off to go okay. find him okay uh you can spend a token to find him that's one of his things if you like to find him again you can spend a token um, you spill that joke and Adir hasn't left the tent. He's just flown up into a far corner of it. She was ready to run off into the night. <laughs> that was going to be her story. She was ready to just fucking vanish. Um, but okay, good. Once she, once she has made eye contact and understands that he's, she'll, she'll be able to stay and watch the rest of the, but like, she was ready to fucking go. <laughs> Very fair. Um, how are the rest of you feeling right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. What are our feelings? Is that your answer? <laughs> no. Mama. <clears throat> Mama knows the bite of the infection very personally um having lost uh her life partner to the infection at the time and seeing it play out again is heart-wrenching just yeah heart heartbreaking and she knows that she knows that if they don't make it a priority to get there and go see what's up the possibility of it happening again is just very real yeah. and there is this sudden hit of anxiety of oh no it's it's again like she's been she's been pretty got up until this point of just like you know being the steadfast stalwart like we move on we go through we got this we're here together kind of figure um but this like anxiety kind of overtakes for a little bit of just 
fuck, it could happen again, and it's going to if we don't, like, do something about it. Um, one of your bees leans against you as they feel your anxiety start to increase. Yeah. Uh, Sybil just feels uh, hurt to a certain degree, seeing this all happen again and then noticing, like, this could, again, like, is happening possibly again. It's hurt. It's it's a little bit frustration and anger of being like, we really have to do this again. Like, we're going to have to go through this again. It's, it's very much of, like, it's just, like, a lot of, like, I don't know, interpersonal, just, like, hurt and angry and being, like, should have done more. It should have been, like, I almost want to compare it to um, God. It's going to be it's going to be, it's going to be a, not super obscure, but just like weird pull. Um, Mulan's father, when he gets called back, and he's like, he's like, I'm an old man now, and I have to go do this again, and there's nothing I can do about it to stop it outside of just doing it again. Yeah. Even though I ha- I've I've done this already. Why am I getting called back? Like, just that anxiety, but, like, that stalwart. Fuck it, if I have to, I have to. Like, this yeah. is my this is my duty. This is my country. This is, you know, what I what I have to do, yeah. essentially. Being like, we're, we're the ones that have been through this. We got to do it again. Yeah. We're the, we're the ones that have, that have found, but I found will. this before. But we will, and it's because we have other people now that we will not let happen like we did before. Yeah. And it's just like that hurt, it's frustration, it's anger. It's just being like, we need to finally end. Like, I, civil being like, I want to finally end this. Everybody deserves to, to live their life. We can't be like this again. Sawyer, how you doing, buddy? Sawyer feels, of all things, guilt. Um, you know, like when you're talking to a person who's like lost a parent and you can't empathize with it because that's just something that like uh, you you're not in the club until you are, and the club sucks. That's yeah, that's that. Um, so I think Sawyer is feeling small, and not the kind of small that just for example, like Dulcet on their shoulder, who is smaller than they are, but yet able to feel a grief that Sawyer has never felt. Um, And that is really disheartening because Sawyer is feeling like they're here to help and they can't really do much. So what Sawyer is going to do um, is in the pouch that they never open next to the pouch that contains all of their like writing stones, Mm -hmm. um, Sawyer's going to pick out the, um, the ones that they think will actually like do some good. So like, Sawyer will like start handing out to and like offering like she has like mossy covered ones kind of like like soothing stones for everybody Mm -hmm. to like play with like like a fidget toy kind of a situation just for everybody to have something material because she can't give them like an emotional response um so like some of them are like really smooth like river rocks that are almost like translucent we've got mossy ones we've got ones that are a little bit like rougher if like Sybil wants to like play with something that has like a sandstone grit to it you know, um, and then like Sawyer will just kind of sit and like watch everybody enjoy their moment of peace for a second if if it gives them peace. If not, um, they know that they did their best. We do not deserve Sawyer. I just I have to <laughs> say the words out loud. We do not deserve Sawyer. If uh, anything Sawyer, happens to Sawyer, ahead, I riot token. personally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jericho. This is gonna sound super selfish, uh, and but it it is what it is. Um, he seeing seeing the performance and and just he didn't he didn't know he knows what the story is he knows that kind of stuff so he knows the the importance and the implications of it, um, but his concern currently is if this is a if this is a a threat that is that is that we have mildly confirmed with what we what we know 
um, that uh, he needs to get the answers of his own life checked out in order. If there is a possibility that there is not a, or just kind of visualizing or seeing this infection as a form of, if there's a possibility of uh, this happening again, his concerns have turned more to how does he get his own stuff in order compared to the needs of the many. Mm -hmm. He wants, he, uh, he needs some answers that he needs to figure out. Take another token. Okay, okay. Alright, yeah, now I take my token. Anything else, anyone? Okay. The Slobbering God falls. And the crown is pick it, picked up by the mouse. And he offers it to um, what you guys know as the Lightbreaker. And she takes it for a moment, running her fingers on the red gems that are encrusted into it. And she leans up and places it on the mouse's head with a smile. The mouse leaves the stage and the Lightbringer turns for a moment and picks up a bundle which looks like a baby. And she smiles down at it for a moment before handing it off to what looks like a cat. And she walks forward. As she walks forward, the light and the dark mix in her. For her counterpart is gone. So she has to become both. There cannot be light without darkness. There cannot be life without death. There cannot be this cycle of rebirth with just one. But this one is gone, so she has to be both. And the earth and the world begins to grow around her again. The light starts to return. The cloak starts to be removed from people as people begin to heal, as people begin to rebuild, the gods are still forgotten. The gods are now feared. And she sits again. And starts to pluck things from the ground. Creating again. But as she creates, the things are smaller. They're... There, there's something that the world doesn't believe they need but she needs she knows that they do and the world grows and the world goes on and the mother is still there and the play ends There is a roar of applause, as a lot of people seem to really enjoy it <laughs> and aren't as connected to a lot of it as you guys are. And Glimmer looks at you guys and goes, that's the best one I've seen yet, honestly. <laughs> well, I'm glad then. Oof. I'm glad. Someone's just going to walk out and go smoke a cigarette. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> Valid of you. <laughs> yeah. And now he has 16 left. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's an everlasting cigarette, you know? Yeah. Keeping track of this pack. <laughs> <laughs> When Sybil's out of cigarettes, we're all doomed. Yeah, watch it. It's just a transformation. <laughs> Transform to Godzilla. You're going to see it. <laughs> Gamera. Yeah, it's like Gamora. Like Gamera, actually. <laughs> Sorry. 
Yes. Uh, Sybil steps outside uh, okay. the tent to go smoke a cigarette. Okay. Yes. What's everyone else doing? What what kind of money do we have in this world? Uh, it's not really money. Everything's more. Everything is really on a barter system. Um, basically, what you have, you can give. Are the performers still out? Um, the very immersive style, the Lightbringer is still on the stage and is still creating things, even though the show has show has ended. Oh, good. It's theater of cruelty. She's not allowed <laughs> to leave until we're all gone. I've been in those shows. I've and been said, that person. You said this person is dressed in white. White and blacks now. White and black. Okay. Um... Sawyer would like to rummage around in their giving rock bag and put like a white pearl sparkly rock just on the edge of the stage and give like a small <laughs> nod and back away um, and walk outside. Um, else. She, as you do that, she smiles at you and holds out her hand for your hand. Sawyer like looks at their hand that's still covered in ink she's, and like goes. She's like, got black sure? on her, so she's so she's ink friendly. <laughs> it's almost like it was written that way. <laughs> uh, Sawyer will reach her short little otter arm up. Uh, the stage. She plucks what looks like a flower from the creation and puts it in your hand and pushes it back to you. Sawyer tucks it in their hat. <laughs> and like <laughs> you have you have a little white rose in your hat. Perfect. <laughs> uh, no notes. <laughs> and Sawyer does a super like toothy grin that looks so dorky. Um and will like take out their notebook um and a rock and dunk it in ink and like hold it for the person so like they can like sign it. Like <laughs> Um she does. Perfect. Now you got a sign truck. Do you think that's forgery, Arthur Stamp? <laughs> Is that technically forgery? Could that be forgery? No, it's fine. Meanwhile, uh, Soria over here with the extra, with, with we're the gonna... extra intelligence, being like, if I get everybody's signature, I can forge <laughs> any document that I want. It's, it's one of those I'll get I've the got king's the... signature. I've this got the light fingers. No one take down the male empire that is currently run by stupid mobs. This is how oh. he's gonna do it. So it's stupid. This is how you make up for it. It's a well-known <laughs> fact that before session zero, the whole connection. But I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin Jericho's life. <laughs> Really, Sawyer. <laughs> I'm about to destroy that man's entire yeah. career. We find out that Sawyer's really a sleeper agent before the slobbering god. She just gets activated. <laughs> no one, oh god, no one expected the honor. <laughs> no one expected no. the honor. <laughs> Dimitri, your candidate. Is that pen again? Oh no. <laughs> I should just probably stop talking. Is one of those is one of those rocks just constantly schluffing <laughs> off ink? <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, and Flowery Rockets. God is the ink. Coincidentally, oh, Sawyer's hands is always covered in the ink. I wonder why. Mm. <laughs> no, okay, sorry. sorry. No one check here. your rocks for listening devices. <laughs> uh... Wander home, Winter Soldier. <laughs> Get out, the, winter, the rocks. winter. Is it Winter Otter? Winter Otter. Oh, the rocks work for the bourgeoisie. Oh my God. The, the rocks, rocks work for the rocks bourgeoisie. Are real. The Winter Otter Soldier. The wind oh, Have you ever seen the king and a rock oh, in the same God. room at the same time? Oh. I bet you haven't. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Can, little Fox so is good. going to wait until most of the tent is empty before attempting to um, climb up the rafters and sit <laughs> next to Nadir. She's not going to ask him to come down. She'll go up. Huh? She just... <laughs> um, yeah. Can't, you you have a token to spend so you don't fall. Yes. Okay. <laughs> cool. Spend um, that token then. Last token, well worth it. Um, <laughs> she Athletic climbs up. Save you here. She sits. <laughs> little little pause. Um. And she. 
She doesn't look at him. She lets him just be ruffled and she'll, but she'll sit close enough and clearly like available should he want to come over. But she just starts talking at him. She, <sighs> it must be hard to watch something like that happen when you're made of shadow. Uh, but he doesn't he doesn't answer yet. Just no. No matter what you're made of or who made you or how or what happened to them. You're so much more than that. And I think people deserve to remember you. But I'm sorry if that was painful to watch. I can't imagine. Um, Nadir takes a, a step towards you, which is why he's a little hot because he's yeah. a crow. <laughs> I know I love him. <laughs> <laughs> and he just pauses for a moment before looking at you and just saying. Climbing up this high without wings is a dumb idea. <laughs> well, you do dumb things to protect the people you care about. I do, at least. That's when you see Snivel also in the rafter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? Yeah, but he's different. Uh, he's been on rooftops and fine. Uh, I've been hanging out with the turtle too much, clearly. No, no lie, I was I was thinking about just showing up on the other end and being like, hi. <laughs> oh, you guys um, just hanging out up here too? <laughs> he's on the other side. <laughs> we're having we're having therapy. If you want to join? <laughs> No, I, actually, I am going to show up on the other side. Just completely up on the other side <laughs> and just catch it. your eyes and be like, hi. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, N Nadir just is kind of staring at the stage. It's hard to watch your father be killed. You remember him. He created me. Of course I remember him. They created all of us. Do you remember when he... Do you remember... When, when he, he got turned sick. into... And how did you feel about it? I think... I was as angry as he was. I think all of us who were born solely from him were as angry as he was. Civil mm. found me on a battlefield not because I was just there, because I was fighting against them. But we lost. And what if... And what if you hadn't lost? And people like me had found you? How would you feel then? I don't have an answer for you, little fox. That's okay. But I appreciate your care. I appreciate you sticking with us anyway, but you know I want all of you to find somewhere you're happy, right? Not just somewhere that you feel like you have to be. He nods. And, and you're allowed, looks, you're allowed to looks, be angry. I'm not angry anymore. I'm glad you're here anyway. 
he smiles as much as he can smile. Um, and he looks down where Sawyer is, uh, with Dulcet still on his shoulder, and goes, I think Dulcet wants to stay here. I think I knew that when she could hear music, the rest of us couldn't. What about you? No. Too bright, too loud, absolutely not. It is a bit much, isn't it? It's too much. <laughs> well, if you'd like to hide out again until we're gone, I understand. And he hops back into his little. I, I can only imagine it being like a, a corporeal birdhouse. Yes, <laughs> that's that was exactly that. what I imagine. Just actually, just, yep. This this yep. appears into it. Yep. Um, she uh, and she just whispers into the general vicinity of where the shadow has vanished. Thank you for trusting me. You don't get a response, but you feel a warmth. And then she to herself, how the fluff do I get down? <laughs> okay, well, I have no more tokens, so I'm just going to fall. Um, I just, oh. I'm going to assume that I fall as no. I attempt to gracefully get no. out. No, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to actually show up and try to catch. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, uh, I'm gonna let Simba be where he's not supposed to be because that's his thing. The hero, and... he's not supposed to. I just walk, he's... I just walk in through the other side of the tent and just happen. Were you me just in up. the rafters <laughs> on the other side? That's why if I'm not supposed to be somewhere, it's not like I just end up in front of him. I come Simba from the back end. Simba just Scooby Doo's the shit. He goes in through one door, comes out the other hallway. Like he's everywhere yep. and nowhere. Yep, yep, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Um. He just uh, so well, you, his you're looking around and you, you see your nameless fox like their feet kicking as they're falling off the raptor, <laughs> and you go whoop and you catch them. <laughs> oh man, how'd they do that? Light, <laughs> light, spotlights falling, fox falling, fox. <laughs> right time, right place. <laughs> right time, right place. You were safely on the ground. Thank you. Oh, oh, he was right. I should, I should, I have creatures with wings. I should really invest in a grappling hook. You should, <laughs> you should probably really try that. It's not really hard to get up in places where you're not supposed to be. You know that, mate. Says the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, buddy, all right? I might the be, alligator I, snapping turtle. Yeah, I might be old. My whole built-in armor. I and she just like looks at herself and all of her fur. She's like, "You have built-in plate mail." By all uh, by all known laws of aviation, turtles should not fly. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a whole I have a whole day for that. Being like, yes, I might have armor, but how am I moving faster than you? Um, and he smiles and winks. <laughs> <laughs> How am I moving faster than you? Smiles, wings, coughs from the smoking. <laughs> <Yeah. going. laughs> I think I've... That's an alligator snapping turtle with asthma. How is he moving <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Faster. I think I've heard a story about this, but my friend the hare isn't here. <laughs> you should ask her. She knows all the stories. <laughs> Smokers oh, coughs yeah. again, walks out. Your hair friend is off. Doing thing. I have to keep track it of her. Took me, where she it is. took me till just now to make that connection. I'm going to be real with y'all. Be totally real with y'all. Seriously, that was the that. whole point. Not that. Right it's now, been six episodes. His That's... nickname is Rabbitfoot and her nickname is Slowpoke. Yeah. Yep. That was yep. the whole nope. it, all, it all comes together. Just watch the little numbers. That's, a, that's exactly on. why I'm, I could be anywhere I'm not supposed to be. I was like, oh, so uh -huh. this is the tortoise and the hare. I get this. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> we all reconvene outside. Unless anyone else will do something in the tent. Uh, yes. Actually, one more thing. Yes. Um, 
as af after our filtering out, it's um, Sawyer. Do you mind if I? And she just points at Dulcet. Oh, for sure, bud. Go go ahead and like Sawyer will. Dulcet Dulcet crawls back onto your hand. She would like an an alone moment with this small god as well. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. If you want to be alone, alone, we can step outside for a moment. Yeah, that's okay, too. Okay. She just holds her. Yeah. So you seem very happy here. Yes. The deer said you might want to stay with the circus. And she pauses for a moment and laughs. He goes, Nadir is very bad at keeping secrets, I tell her. Why was it a secret? Yes, you would be sad if I left. Oh my fuck, my heart. <laughs> you know what would make me sadder, though? Is if you stayed when you weren't really... happy staying with me. I would be happy. But you wouldn't be home. That is the difference, isn't it? Are you home here, Delset? And she smiles. And she gives a little nod. I think so. I think so too. I will miss all of your little melodies. <laughs> and I'll miss how happy you could make people like Sawyer over there and you and Wick always got along a little better than I expected, actually. <laughs> We're cut from the same cloth. Well. Even if my cloth's a little prettier. Your cloth is prettier than everyone's, darling. <laughs> um, she heads over to, um, she waves her sister over. Uh, Glimmer, who is still holding the undead god you handed her like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Glimmer, meet Dulcet. Dulcet is a small and forgotten god of tiny melodies, and here I believe she'll be properly remembered. I think she'd like to stay. Would you take care of her, please? Glimmer will Trade. take a little undead monkey <laughs> on your shoulder and pick up Dulcet and look at her and Dulcet looks back look at me, I look at her um, <laughs> she looked at me <laughs> um, I don't think she's supposed to stay with me dear. No, but I think you're gonna be able to help her find the right place here. I think she should be with Siren that's what I figured, too. I just don't know that I can be the one to actually go deliver her, because I will <laughs> not be okay. I will make sure she is found a perfect place to stay. Thank you. She yes, Ryan. squeezes the little monkey a little tighter. Just... <laughs> oh, no. I was, I was saying that Dulcet's definitely going with the lesbians. Yeah, Dulce is the lesbian's cat now. This oh, is yes, how this and, works. and that's flawless. <laughs> little Fox, this, is just, this is just Little Fox's first god that she has had mm -hmm. to separate from, and she physically will not be able to leave that tent, having left sense. her there. Leaving yeah. her with a family member who will then take her to the lesbians is going to be a lot easier <laughs> than just walking in herself and being like, take my cat moths. I have to leave. Take me to the lesbian. <laughs> yes. Um, but, yeah. Um, she does make several notes uh, once they've left, once they leave the circus mm -hmm. of exactly where Dulcet ended up. Um, she does also, she, she leaves a little letter uh, to, would you please give this to, to Siren? Yeah, and, so and, um And it's just asking, um, uh, my wish is this god never be forgotten again. Uh, I would appreciate if you would write to me every so often stories of how she is doing. 
so I may help keep her alive in my own way. Um, she would like she would like to fill in the chronicles of Dulcet in <laughs> the book of Dulcet. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's Matthew, Mark, Luke. No, <laughs> Dulcet, Wake and the Deer. <laughs> the, the Gospels of Little Fox's Gods have begun. <laughs> uh, um, and uh, so she would like she would like letters when appropriate of Dulcet's tales and melodies. Mm-hmm. That's all. I'm done now. <laughs> Um, your sister takes Dulcet and Dulcet, like her little paws pop over her shoulder and looks so and calls out to you. Have you ever thought about Faith for a name? As she disappears. Can't say no to the cat moth. Listen. You can, listen. She, she has offered an option. And she will put it down in the list at the back of her book for herself. Of possible names. Of possible names. She does not think that she has earned any one specific one yet. But yeah. she will put it down and just put a little heart next to it. <laughs> uh, anyone else want to do anything? Um, Mama <clears throat> Mama is she's the last the last one to leave her seat. Um, she's kind of just sitting with her bees for a little bit in the in the theater just watching the stage watching as the actor pulls and and does her thing she doesn't want to sit there too long she obviously doesn't want to like you know stop the person from going on their lunch or whatever um but um she kind of just takes a moment to herself and and considers everything that has to be done and thinks about Nadir and how like the re- the visceral reaction coming from just seeing a simulation of it and knowing the anger and sadness that's gonna happen um, in the future if he happens to still be around when um, in the future whenever this is going on again. And she's a little sad about it. She doesn't want to. She doesn't really want to. She doesn't really want to think about um, the possibility of, of causing that sadness to one of her friend's little gods. Um, but she knows it's she knows it's necessary, and she's just kind of taking a moment. And she kind of shakes her head a little bit and just collects herself and goes out and joins the group. Oh. Meet back up outside. Um, probably later that evening. Like once we figure out what we're doing for lodging and stuff along. You guys were offered uh, some place to stay yes. at an inn. At the end. Glimmer has also offered her tent, which is a big <laughs> tent. Uh, if you guys would like to stay with her, you uh, have two options. It doesn't matter where, um, but once we're done here, we're heading to the castle, I think is the plan, yeah? The floating mountain, yep. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, he, Jericho's gonna, uh, write a letter, you know, he's gonna want to, and send Jerry off ahead, and to his to his pen pal of her of their last known location mm-hmm. and he's like hey uh, we've had some we've had I've had a couple weird dreams you've been in them I just want to make sure that you're okay I haven't heard from you in a while I'm bringing some people and hopefully I'll see you soon and he'll send Jerry Ahead of us, mm-hmm. and so you will you will not have Jerry for a few days. Oh, oh no! Mm-hmm. He comes back when that moth is that crown is popped. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I am taking down Gon. <laughs> I am. The hell hath no fury like a sworn postal worker. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say that you guys stay at the end, so you each have your own little rooms. 
um, unless one of you wanted to stay with Glimmer. No? Okay. So you all are at this end. You all are in your own rooms for the night. Anything else anyone wants to do before we go to sleep? Um, with all the remaining small gods, uh, Little Fox will go out of her way to find all of the favorite treats at the in the in the carnival grounds. Again, the hot mm -hmm. cocoa, the everything for all the favorites for everyone who is left. Mm -hmm. Um she'll just kind of be up with them all night. Um, she doesn't get a lot of sleep. She spends what? most of the night just kind of pampering and taking care of the ones who are left. She doesn't talk to them about missing Dulcet. They can probably tell. They all know. She is, she is very happy that one of them has found home. She also does not know how to handle it. Fair enough. Anyone else? You all fall asleep. Uh, and you're all, you wake up, you're all dead. No. no. Absolutely not. Um, Nameless Fox, you don't sleep very well. You don't sleep at all, mostly. Um, so you're gonna be a little tired the next day. <laughs> um, Sawyer. Hi. <laughs> Hi. The look of fear on your face is what fuels me as a person. <laughs> um, you have the same dream that you had last time. Of counting the blue flowers. And a woman laughing. And the laughing turned into running away. Uh, Mama and Sybil, you guys have a little bit of a rough night. Some PTSD dreams. There. Uh, and you all have a little bit of a rough night. But everyone except for our little fox friend does eventually find a full night's rest. And you wake up the next day. And as you wake up the next day, we are entering a new month. We are moving from chill soil to moon sun. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, and you guys will get a new question. And at the end of... Oh, no. At the end of moon sun will be the sun parade. So we're all going to get ready for the Ooh. sun parade. Wow, we have to do the sun parade without Dulce? I know, I know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. There'll be lesbians there, too. And Dulcet will yeah, there will there'll, there'll be plenty <laughs> of Whatever there. lesbians are, Dulcet will follow. <laughs> yeah, she's also the, the god of tiny melodies and lesbians. <laughs> lesbians? <laughs> the patron saint of lesbians. Of lesbians. <laughs> That's it. Good for her. That's it. Good for her, honestly. Good for her. I need Are these lesbians my lesbians? <laughs> Lesbians. lesbians is that what you're is that my what you're, lesbians it's been it. a great show it's been great. <laughs> i loved it i love it good run yeah, love that's a season wrap Goodbye. up sawyer um, sorry <laughs> before we move on i have to ask is this home for anyone else no all right well we will see you guys next not next week we're skipping next week we have the week after um, as we start a new month, you guys get some new questions um, that will shape the episode. And maybe we'll find a new little god since Dulcet's gone. We'll find a new friend. Uh, are you reading anyone, Pixie? Anyone awake? No. Nope. All right. All right. Yeah. Safe travels, friends. And we'll see you next time.